Oh, there's Sergeant Potter and Corporal Stark with him. Hey, guys, mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What, like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living, plus I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? Th there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Hey, Largo, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? Huh. <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so... thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others? <laughs> I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair is all. Traumatic past experience with the darks and leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about him is all. You can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. <laughs> Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Chanteuse? They may be cranky, but they're characters. <laughs>